What's your name, YouTube? Hi there. Word up, geez. Trev here, Summit or Nothing. And Nathan. Also Summit or Nothing. Today we're back up on Dartmoor again, on the South Moor, come to Harford. I'm ticking off more squares on the Dries X Bob and us. Yeah, we've got a new tent to try out, the nature hike that we were sent. Once again, it's a wild camp video. Another point worth mentioning is that we have actually done our research and ensured that we're going to camp on a part of Dartmoor that you're allowed to wild camp on. Yes, we uh, got slap wrist last time. Lots of people making us uh, aware that we wasn't supposed to camp on Hound Tour. It's funny we should say that when there's a sign that says no camping or fires. So we're heading up to Hangar Shell Rock on the South Moor. Already it's looking a bit more vast and uh, featureless than other parts of the moor. No impressive tours surrounding us. Here we are now on this path. It's the Two Moors Way. So obviously it goes across Exmoor, Dartmoor ends in Lynmouth. We're just walking across it. We're going to take in these rocks up here. Hangar Shell Rock. A bit blowy up here. Maybe to test the tent, we should pitch it on top of this rock. Well, when we come to a distinct sort of right-hand curve in the track, we look due east. Then to the right of us is Western Beacons, and to the left of us is Butterden Hill. So we want to go up Western Beacons, which I think is this one in front of us here. And then we'll come across the Butterden Hill. It looks like there's a path kind of between the two. And then from there, world is our oyster. Right, mate. those stones just in a big pile there that's the thing with these druids they never tidied up after themselves did they So this is Western Beacons we're at now. The rolling hills of Devon, off in the distance. Do you know what my find of the week was this week, Nath? Your penis. You know like Grey's snacks, and they're like four quid for a tiny little pot. Yeah. 60p in Lidl's, same thing. Alesto, spicy ones. How does that make you feel? Indifferent. <laughs> Had an arse in us. Back up that way, innit? Yeah. Back over to Butterden. So here we are at Butterden Hill Trick Point. It's not the clearest of days, and it's come quite low level cloud about, but there are a few sort of blue breaks of sky in the cloud. So we're at Butterden Hill. Yep. Yeah, and then we're going to head north until we come in line with Hangar Shell Rock, which is where we were earlier. Yeah. And then if we head due east onto this track, that should navigate us around this boggy area. And then we can head over to uh, Uffborough Beacon, and then we can come back and continue our journey north on this path. Okay, my friend. Well, I'm glad you're okay with that, because that's what's f***ing happening. actually worth the walk, don't you think? Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, 
view ranger today at this point saying we've done 10 kilometers walk so whether that's right or not i don't know but it's drawn what appears to be a diagram of a lady's uterus right now we're in the east ovary Two more's way, ain't we, Nate? Back on the two more's way. It's a bit parky, it's gonna get dressed. We're back on a good track now. And I'm hoping that when we get up to this, this tour over here, it looks like it's right the precipice, like looking over a valley. So I'm hoping the views are gonna be quite good up there. As long as this cloud doesn't drop. There's someone camping up there. Oh, well, f it. Let's just go back to the car then. <laughs> That's just killed it. Really? <laughs> but should we go and have a look at it? Yeah, we'll take you with us, obviously. And uh, we'll have a little bit of a reorg and a cup of coffee, shall we? Good enough for two. It's good enough for three. Pot's on. Bubbling fair now? Yeah. Well, we're up here on Sharp Tour now. We've had a coffee, warmed up. Got dressed some more. Got dressed some more because the temperature's dropped that off. And now we've got to go and find somewhere to camp. Are we walking along this track here? I reckon we should probably just, you know, for a change, something or nothing it. As the crow flies, just go for it. Straight line? Yeah. Clock saying it's 10 to 7 now. What? When did that happen? I figure, I think got long. It's about half eight, the sun goes down now. And we've got to get back up the hill, be in a safe zone for camping, because otherwise someone yeah. might point out that we've camped in the wrong place. Weasel. I'd like to have a look over there and just have a look off that edge. If we were camping over there and someone just walked right up there, I came up here to have a look over that edge. Why are you going to have a look over the edge then? I'm going. I'm looking. And you just see if I don't. Well, this is making hard work, isn't it, Nath? We can see our destination over there. Just can't see the road. It's got to be somewhere. We're only uh, about a kilometre away from where we're camping now. We can see where we're camping. It'd be good to get this tent up. Nature hike. See what that's all about. I might go right here. Nature hike, take one. Now it's up, not covering down on the floor there very well, so I don't know if I need to bring that guide rope down. And also it hasn't got the ropes on the side to help keep it rigid in the wind. So I might just apply those now as well for extra security. We're both having a play around with new bits of kit today. He's got the tent up. I'm just perched here on a rock. I've got my little new stove out again. So I thought I'd uh, eat a bit of dinner and get a coffee on the go outside before uh, it becomes time to hibernate for the evening. I'm still with the DD Hammocks tarp. The ground's uh, actually quite soft here considering how dry it's been. Tent pegs went in easy. I didn't bend a single tent peg for a change, which is nice. And there we are, nature hike up. It, whether it's upright, because I've done it. So it's getting idiot tested here tonight. And let's pile all my in it and see how it looks. Roomy, I like it. Let's have some dinner. I started to get pins and needles in my legs. So I thought I'd squat as opposed to sitting down. Could be your uh, adult legs coming through. <laughs> it could be mine. Uh, oh, that might be where I got the height from. Well, here we are. Set up camp. It's exciting to think. I'm going to be in a new tent tonight. Hopefully it's not going to rain, but then it's a good test for the tent if it does. Mist's coming in now. At least you went walking in it. Yeah. Just hiding our tents. Here comes a f***ing sheep as well. I do. Getting laid tonight. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Already I'm impressed with this tent room-wise compared to the Banshee. A lot of room. I'm sitting upright. 
it is a bit like a sail when you look at it from the side. It doesn't seem to be that windy at the moment. Sorted my stuff out, realised I haven't bought a book to read. I have got a Dartmoor Legends though, so... It's time for another Dartmoor Legend. <laughs> Where we're camping tonight on Hanger Shell Rock. There's a legend. A man called Jan, because they're always called Jan. Jan Bowers. He was a councillor for the nearby town of Ivybridge. One night he told his wife he was just going to pop out for a quick drink at the local tavern. When he didn't arrive back in the morning, she got a bit worried and she called up for some friends and they searched the nearby moors. But it wasn't until the search party reached Hanger Shell Rock that they heard strange wailing noise. A bit like this. <laughs> They thought, what on earth is that noise? They looked around the back of the rock and there was Jan Bowers lying, strewn across the floor, whimpering like a baby, dressed in his wife's finest nightgown, a little shorty nighty that he bought her for their wedding anniversary, which she'd never worn, but seemed to fit Jan perfectly. They said, Jan, boy, what be boat ya? What be telling you dressed like a man? What's going on ya? And Jan was shocked to see them. His eyes widened and he said, it wasn't my fault. I was just minding my own business when all of a sudden a gang of pixies dragged me onto the moors and dressed me in my wife's nighty. And they said, Jan, mad. Oh, did they get it? He said, I don't know pixie magic, but rest assured, I am not a cross-dresser. It was the f***ing pixies did that. The pixies did that. So just remember, when you're walking anywhere near the moors, Make sure pixies don't dress you in your wife's clothes because it could cause an awkward situation amongst town folk. Good night. <laughs> What's that? Don't know, is it fireworks? Something's going on. Are we being bombed? I don't know, I mean, is that what you'd imagine the second coming of Jesus to sound like? I don't know. I wasn't around for the first coming, so... Oh, mate, when Jesus comes, it's like an explosion. I'm looking out, I can't see any fireworks. We ain't gonna see much through this mist, though, are we? No, it seems the wrong sort of night to do fireworks. Yeah. Well, John boy, I'm gonna retire. Oh, you never even became famous. <laughs> but I might retire as well, mate. Cool. See you on the flip side, mofo. See you on the flip. I just twatted. Stop breaking everything down. Nate's up. He sounds grumpy. Did you have a good night? No. Dear old boy. I must say, I think I prefer a tent to a top. It's dry. There's no weather coming in. No creatures or critters coming in. Oh, I must 
to slide down for another 10 minutes. Morning YouTube. Well that was a horrendous night's sleep, if I'm honest. I sometimes wake up wondering why it is that I keep convincing myself uh, or letting Trev persuade me that going back and doing another wild camp is a good idea. There was nothing pleasurable about sleeping in here last night. It was so f***ing noisy. Anyway, it's uh, approaching 7am on Sunday morning. Got my stove going. Expedition breakfasts. Quite excited about that. Then I'm going to have a coffee. And then we can have a look at packing this shit up and getting out of here. About half six in the morning. I'm stood up on the top. Oh, it's proper windy here. I should have set my tent up here. I ain't staying up here for long. Sod that. How's your exped? Yeah, I like Ex-ped breakfast. I really enjoy it. I don't know why you don't like it. I didn't like the consistency. It's like warm muesli. It was like soggy vomit. Yeah, I remember you saying, although you reminded me of it now isn't helping my enjoyment of it, but you know, it's um... Well, packed all my bag up. There's plenty of room inside the nature hike to do that, but I'm not looking forward to ripping it down out there in this drizzly close rain. Gets everywhere. Well, there you go. Packed uh, within five minutes, I'd say, wouldn't you, Nath? Didn't take long. Went in that bag all right. I have folded everything in together. It's all a bit wet, it's gonna need drying out, but that's camping in the UK. So, again, left no trace. Nath's almost packed. And then the stroll back in this mizzle back to the car and getting off of Dartmoor. All right. Morning. Morning. You all right? Yeah. How was that? Miserable. Miserable. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. I just never get a good night's sleep when we're camping. It doesn't matter <laughs> if it's shit weather, if it's good weather. It's called camping, I think. Yeah, it would be nice to actually get a decent night's sleep, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hell of a flappy, wouldn't it? It was flappy. So, overall, happy with a nature hike, I must say. Yeah? It was all right for the first night. Stayed up. Plenty of space. Loads of just space in there. Wasn't too bad to pack up. Yeah, that went down quick. That's the quickest I've ever seen you pack up anything, mm. I think, which says a lot. <laughs> you still enjoying your tarping? Yeah, I did say uh, on the camera last night I'm contemplating getting a DDM at one man tent. I think if I've got a one man tent with a ground sheet, I might be tempted to try one of these inflatable roll mats, which might give me a better night's sleep. Mm. I can get to a point where I'm having a reasonable night's sleep. I won't be so anti-camping. Maybe I won't moan about going home, wanting to go home as much. <laughs> My arm's getting tired. Knife. Arrivederci. See you again.